Welcome to the Double Take. I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Kathleen Cook. And we're here at Dale F. Halton Arena where the Charlotte 49ers just defeated the Old Dominion Monarchs 74 to 72 behind a buzzer beater from John Davis. We'll go ahead and go right into the highlights. With the loss, the 49ers are officially not bowl eligible, sitting at 4 and 7 on the season. The Charlotte 49ers will go to UTSA at 7 o'clock next Saturday for the last game of the regular season. Welcome to the newest edition of the Double Take. I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Kathleen Cook. And we're here at J.A. Richardson Stadium where the Charlotte 49ers were just defeated by the Rice Owls 22-21 on Military Appreciation Day. Sunday evening, Charlotte 49ers quarterback Kevin Olsen was arrested on multiple charges including three counts of second-degree forcible rape, sexual assault, communicating threats, and second-degree sex offense. The baseball team was in action, opening series against the West Virginia Mountaineers here at Robert and Mary Hayes Stadium, winning on opening day 6-3 in front of a sold-out crowd, and then the bats came alive on Saturday, winning 13-2 behind three home runs for Charlotte, but they failed to win and take the series sweep against the Mountaineers, losing 6-3 on the last game. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights. Charlotte has a midweek game against top five foe South Carolina before they host Ryder for a four-game series here at the Hayes. Let's go ahead and go check on basketball with Kathleen Cook in Halton Arena. We have another full week of sports here on the campus of UNC Charlotte, so make sure you go to NinerTimes.com to check out more information about that. It's February 1st here in Charlotte, North Carolina. That means one thing. It's National Signing Day. I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Kathleen Cook. And we're going to take a look at the third largest recruiting class for the 49ers. The 49ers will be back in action in Huntington, West Virginia next week against the Marshall Thunder and Herd before having a bye week and then coming back here to J.R. Richardson Stadium on November 12th to take on the Rice Owls. From everyone here at the Niner Times, I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Kathleen Cook. We'll see you then. What's up, Niner Nation? I'm Trevor Wilt here with the Niner Times. Lay to my right is the head women's basketball coach for the Charlotte 49ers, Coach Karen Consuegra. Coach, how's the offseason going? Because it's really not an offseason for you. This is your time to really revamp and really create a new team. How can you guys really fill that, that emptiness with Kira Gordon and Alexa Alexander just graduated, and they had incredible careers. I mean, those are the ladies that you first recruited, and, and you had so much love for them, so did Niner Nation. How can you guys really feel what they had? I'm here with the Charlotte 49ers head men's basketball coach, Mark Price. You're known here on campus, of course, for being the coach, but also around the nation for the last couple of decades of being one of the greatest free throw shooters of all time. Steve Nash, number one. You're number two. Steph Curry, babyface assassin number three on the list. So you gotta wait a second, Mr. Davidson. A man right here, Mark Price, second on the list. But Mark, what we're gonna do today, you're just gonna walk us through exactly what you're doing at your camp, which is the 20th through the 23rd of this month, seven through 18 are the ages. Walk us through what you're kinda gonna do at the camp, maybe some shooting tutorials as well. We'll go over there, shoot some free throws, and after that, get a little contest for you guys. So Mark, and how much do you stress free throws? Because in this day and age, you have hack a shack, Hack of Dwight Howard, Hack of DeAndre Jordan, whoever you want to say, how much of an impact and how valuable are free throws? Nothing but net. And that's how you make a free throw. So now we know how to shoot the free throw. We got some tips. I actually just learned a lot from that because I don't miss straddle, so I may try what he does right there. Put the right foot on the pin right there where the nail's supposed to be. So we're to go ahead and do a little free throw contest. For the win. Game time. That's all we got. And then I make that. I make that. <laughs> good so job. Great job. Put some beat on me that last game, though. Impressive. Impressive. Good job. I, I tried to. So now that we know how to shoot free throws, the camp is soon, guys. So sign up as soon as you can. You can sign up. You can even walk in that day. I'm here with senior Brent Bronico for the Shaw 49ers men's soccer team. And you're going to be the anchor at the forward position this year for the soccer team. Just talk to us about what guys you have coming back from last year and then also the newcomers coming in offense. So we're talking about the upcoming season, that schedule, it's gonna be real tough. I mean, you're starting off against a team like Hofstra who just made it to the NCAA tournament last year. Just talk about your opponents this year and how tough it's gonna to be to keep that, that really high stake you guys have. And going into your senior season, uh, just talk to us about uh, kind of the process of what uh, what happened on your way up from high school to college and now you're in your senior season. Did it fly by? Man. With redshirt senior Luke Wachter. And Luke, you go into your redshirt senior season. What does that mean to you? How has your journey gone throughout uh, being a 49er? With 13,939 in attendance for homecoming, Hassan Klute finished the night 21 for 31 with one passing touchdown and one interception while also rushing for 99 yards and a touchdown. Khalif Phillips rushed for 109 yards on the night. 
Senior lineman Larry Ogunjobi recorded four and a half tackles for loss, tying his career high and tying the school record set by himself while also recording one and a half sacks. There were a total of six fumbles and six interceptions between both teams, and that's where we'll kick things off. Still tied at zero, FIU's quarterback Alex Magoo escaped the pocket and scrambled out to his right and in the end zone for a 19-yard touchdown, capping off a four-play 33-yard drive. With just minutes remaining in the half, Clue found Uriah LeMay over the middle for an 18-yard gain to the FIU 36-yard line. The 49ers had to settle for a Steven Mascarello 29-yard field goal to tie the game up at 10, capping off a 13-play 69-yard drive. With 10 minutes left in the first, senior linebacker Nick Cook lowered the boom on Kylan Granson, sending a shock through all 14,000 attendants at Jerry Richardson Stadium. To cap off a season-long 95-yard drive, Hassan Clue tiptoed in his Jordans into the end zone, cluing in Niner Nation that he is ready to lead the Charlotte offense. Trevor Will, senior out of J.M. Robinson High School. Larry Ogunjobi, the man, the myth, the legend. Really smart, double major. I can't even handle one major. I will be the first to buy that jersey. The Chinese website, I'm too broke to really buy an expensive one. I hope you get drafted by the Panthers. It could be the Browns, and I'd still, I'd be a Browns fan. Though. Don't go there. And don't go to the Patriots, either. Track has started. I don't know how you do it. They, they took the worst part of every sport, and they made it a sport. And you guys are good at it. I get a cramp after two miles of walking. <laughs> Six seconds now for John Davis. Five seconds, four seconds, three. John Davis, top of the key. The fadeaway jumper is good! The 49ers win! Are you kidding me? John Davis with 35 points to cap off one heck of a night and the greatest game we've seen here from the summer from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. 49ers, 42, 38, 13, 25 remaining. Najee Garvin going in! Margie Garvin, are you kidding me? John Davis now with the ball. Hudson Price for three in the left wing, and that's good from Coach Price's son. Finds Hudson Price, baseline, back out wide for three. Andrew and White, and that's good from the sophomore from Virginia. Five remaining, Show Andrew time. White comes up with the steal, and he throws it down. Davis top of the key, guarded by McCaughlin. Left wing, Andrew and White, same spot, Andrew and White. Hits again, he's got 14 points right now, and he's also got four threes. With the ball. Uh, he gets a stolen by Quinn time. Jackson. Quinn Jackson going up strong with two hands. The freshman from Perry, North Carolina. John Davis trying to take it coast to coast. Goes up strong with the left hand. Are you kidding me? John Davis now getting to the lane, and he does it again with the left hand. John Davis driving in now with the left hand off the glass and in. Went with his right hand, switched to the left hand mid-air. John Davis, top of the key. He gets a pick there from Hudson Price. Still dribbling around, dribble drive to the rack with the right hand. And this is a one-man. He's about nine or 10 guys right now. John Davis, free throw line, the pull-up jumper, it's good. John Davis with three fouls, and it is. John Davis, the corner three. John Davis knocks it down. Now 28 points for the sophomore. And John Davis. Uh, pull back three, and that's good. They're now 31. Take the corner, avoid the deck. This one swung on, hit the right field. Don't know if it's going to be deep enough. TJ Nickte, is he going to get tested? Yes, he will. TJ Nickte catches it, fires to home, and he's going to be out at home. TJ Nickte saving another run for the 49ers out there in right field. Had a couple runners on with no out. This one's going to be swung on, hitting the left center field. That one's got a chance. And there we go, Jackson Mims with his first home run as a short 49ers gonna put up the 49ers two to one. Logan Shear with a long drive in the left field. You can kiss that baby goodbye. The 49ers put up another four spot here in an inning in the sixth now. Now up eight to one. Now the running team with 111 strikeouts. This one swung on and it's hit a mile high and that one's Gonna be gone as well as that hits off the foul pole, and the 49ers are just pouring it on. West Virginia right now up 13 to 2. Towards the fence, he's gonna lean over. Does he make the catch? Yes, he does. Zach Jarrett. For the last two outs, the kick swung on, hit down the third base line. It's gonna be fair. Bo Robinson bringing in TJ Nick team to score the second run of the ball game. Two outs, here's the 1-1. One, one. Swung on, hit right over the netzer. A backhand snag, fire to first. The 49ers are victorious 
here on opening day against Big 12 foe West Virginia. They win 6-3 in front of a sellout crowd here at Robert and Miriam Hayes Stadium. And this one swung on, hitting the left field. That one's got a chance, and it's rope out of here off the bat. Got out in a hurry here at the Hayes, right off the Charlotte side out there in left field. As this one swung on, a high fly ball in the right field. That one's got a chance, but back at the wall, does he rob it? And it goes out. Are you kidding me? Off the glove. Out there in right field. You will not see that again this season. I can guarantee you that, ladies and gentlemen. Off the glove of Mayberry. It was in play. Off his glove. And then out of the ballpark. Wow. Here's the 0-2, swing and a miss. The guy is in the zone right now. Strikeout number nine, career high. Now for Josh Macieski. Strikeout number 11. Macieski is just feeling it today. This one swung on, hit right back up the middle. Logan Shear had to wait for it. He's still getting the wave. Logan Shear is going to be tested. Play at the plate. Safe. Logan Shear dives in safe. This one swung on, and that one's driven out in the left center field a mile high. And it's out of here.